Last season, the Pine River Bacchus volleyball team made their way to the state tournament, and they did it without a single senior on the roster. Now the Tigers are all back and eyeing a repeat trip to state. Sports reporter Anthony Scott has more. Last season, the Pine River Bacchus volleyball team did the unthinkable, making it to the state tournament without a single senior on the roster. And they became closer than ever because of it. It, it made it an experience to be there, but it made it a memory to be there with each other. Since there were no seniors, the Pine River volleyball family fully returned for the 2018 season. When you got familiarity in the gym with coaches or, or personnel, it's always a good thing, you know, and uh, it's good to have these seniors, that's for sure. And the familiarity has helped. After losing their first game of the season, the Tigers have rallied off 19 straight wins, but they have always had the next game mentality. We just kind of take it a game at a time here. I don't know about, you know, state tournament or anything else. We just play one game at a time. We come in with a blue collar mentality and we think of next game. We have our goal of state, but it's just, it's next game, next game, and we stay on the grind. They may be looked at as the favorites after 19 straight wins, but the Tigers are staying hungry. I think it does give us confidence, but at the same time, we're trying to make sure it doesn't make us cocky either. I mean, we still run, we still condition, we still do all the things we know we have to do, and we have to keep doing that and not let it get to our heads. As the season winds down, the Tigers will be tough to beat. Our motto is be tough. No matter what, we have to be tough. No matter the score, no matter what adversity is coming our way, no matter how we feel about ourselves, we need to be tough. The Tigers look to stay tough as the state tournament is only a month away. Reporting from Pine River Bacchus, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.